So in this review, I'm going to be taking a first look at the PageCloud website builder, tell you guys what I think, tell you what I've liked about it so far in my short time of using it, and tell you what I think that they need to improve on in order to make this a really great website builder. So if you're interested in PageCloud, you want to see what it's like to use and see what my opinion is on it, let's go ahead and dive in and check this out. I'm Tim from realwebsitehints.com, and it's my mission to help you find the best and easiest ways of building great looking websites. If you're interested in trying out PageCloud for yourself, I'm going to include a link down below. This link might help to support this channel, so I thank you for your support. And if you want to find out what my top recommended website builders are, definitely check out the link up at the top of the video and down in the description below for my top recommended website builders. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at PageCloud. So PageCloud has several different templates for you to choose from, and really these are just starting points for building your website. You're not really locked into anything with the PageCloud website builder. So let's take a look at the website that I was able to create with PageCloud. Okay, so here it is. What I've done here is I've been building this portfolio website on various different website building platforms to find out which one works the best and kind of what their strengths are and what their weaknesses are. And so this here is the page that I put together with PageCloud. Definitely has a very nice look to it. One of the things that I did find frustrating with PageCloud is one of the things that I like to do when I start building a website is I like to sort of lay down some of the ground rules, you might say, for how my website's going to be built. So I like to decide on the fonts and I like to have global control over the fonts. Um, I like to have global control over the general colors that I'm going to be using in my website. So for example, this website is predominantly black background with white text. And you know, it'd be nice to even be able to choose what the style of my buttons are. So when I throw a button in there, it's already the styling that I like to have. Now with PageCloud, I wasn't able to do that. Um, every single module and section that I put in, I had to change the font to the font that I wanted to use, change the button styling to the button styling that I want to use. So I definitely found that um, a bit frustrating and kind of a little bit more time consuming than I'd like when I'm building a website. Now, the one thing that you may or may not like about PageCloud is that it's a tool that's really designed for people who like doing page layouts and sort of like a rigid structure to their page layouts. So what you get is the desktop and tablet view um, is fixed. PageCloud doesn't build the typical flowing style responsive website. And that's not really a bad thing. I know some people tell you, must have a responsive website, it has to be responsive. Um, but that's not really true. What you need to have is you need to have a website that works well on desktops and tablets and one that works well on mobile phones without creating a separate page for desktops and tablets and a separate page for mobile phones. And that's what PageCloud does. It's all on the same page with styling for desktop and tablets. And then on that same page, it has styling specifically for mobile phones. Because web pages that work well on mobile and on desktop is what Google is looking for. So just to show you, the image changes, but the text doesn't really change or flow uh, with this website. It just is sort of stationary and static. And that's really good if it drives you nuts when the elements of your website uh, change and start moving around. And I, I can definitely understand that. You can look at the mobile view of this page. Um, and one of the things you definitely have to do with PageCloud is you definitely have to go in and after you've built your desktop page, you really need to go in and tweak the mobile design page, I think a little bit more than you do have to on other website builders. But compared to some website builders where you can't tweak the mobile view at all, you can tweak it and you can make sure your users are getting the best experience on mobile devices. So let's go ahead and let's look at how the editing works with PageCloud. So here's the builder. I mean, I think the first thing that you sort of notice straight off is these grid lines. And as you move your items around, you get these uh, grid lines that like help you line things up. So definitely very much of like a page layout designer's tool. One of the cool things about it is there's a lot of keyboard shortcuts and I definitely really like that. So if you select multiple items like this and I think I think it's AM and that will line all the different elements back up on a center axis. A left justify and a right justify. You can undo, redo, all of these things using keyboard shortcuts. So if you like using keyboard shortcuts, it definitely helps to speed up the process of building your website, being able to just kind of dive in there and use all of these keyboard shortcuts. So I definitely really like that about using the builder. We've got different pre-made sections that you can choose from. So now each template 
does include some of these pre-made sections. So if you want to like quickly um, adjust and move around your sections of your web page, if you click on sections here, you can drag it, you can drag different sections around and it's going to move those sections around sort of quickly and easily. You can drag in your images and upload images. Um, your images get loaded up to the website, which is something that not all website builders have. So I like having that sort of catalog of your photos. If you want to reuse photos on multiple pages, you've got them right there to have access to. Um, you also have access to Shutterstock images. So if you want to use premium images from Shutterstock, you can drag them into your design, see what they look like, and then if you want to, you can decide to, to pay for them and use them. So I think that's definitely a really nice feature. Text is pretty self-explanatory. You get heading text, all different kind of text, um, some different layouts sort of pre-made for you to drag in there. So that's really helpful to sort of help your design move quickly. Get different button stylings here that you can add in. Social media icons just ready to go, ready to be dragged in and used on your website. That is a very helpful thing. You don't have to go around and search for that. We've also got icons that you can drag in and use in your design. So it's definitely geared towards people who like doing page layout and like to have a lot of easy to use tools right at their disposal. Let's check out another one of my pages. So we've got all of our pages down here. This is another page that I built. Don't really want to save the changes on that page here. So here, um, what I did is I took a shape. So you got different shapes and I just kind of put that back there behind. I do like the fact that you can move different shapes around. You can layer items. You can have items in front of other items and decide how things are going to be stacked up and layering. Once again, if you like doing standard page layout design, you're going to be very comfortable with these controls and settings. But if we look here at the mobile layout view, most of it worked out pretty well, um, but one thing I wasn't able to figure out is on this image that I have here is how to get it the focus point to be you know, at the handlebars so that no matter what size it was, uh, the handlebars were always in, in view and the bottom half of the bike was, was cropped off. Um, that's something that either I didn't find or that doesn't exist in PageCloud, and that can be definitely a bit frustrating when you're working on your design. As far as like adding videos to your website, definitely not a problem at all. There's this apps link here, and I, what I did here is I just dragged in a YouTube link, pasted in my YouTube video URL, and there we go. I've got a video on this page, so no problem there. I did have a couple of uh, glitchy issues happen with this page builder. Um, I had this page here designed and built. And something happened, I don't know, it very well could have been user error, but on the builder side, everything looked fine. Everything was lined up and looked good. And then when I switched over to the preview, my entire design was jumped over to the left. And I couldn't quite figure it out, so I used the help button at the bottom of the screen here, and I contacted tech support. And I've actually contacted tech support several times for PageCloud, and one thing I can say is their tech support rocks. I think in a matter of a couple of hours, um, they had my question not only answered, but they had actually gone onto my website and fixed the problem for me. So that was definitely pretty awesome. And that definitely felt like a premium experience and something that I really like about PageCloud is that so far, um, contacted tech support four or five times and they've been right on it. They've been very helpful. They've understood what the problem was having and either they fixed it or they told me what I needed to do to fix the problem. So that is definitely a fantastic feature of PageCloud is great technical support. So my initial review of PageCloud is that if you're the kind of person who really likes to use tools that are very page layout oriented, when you set an item there, it's going to stay there. It's not going to move around. It's not going to get all you know, crazy and wonky on you, which is what happens with responsive website design is that as you move the screen back and forth, everything is sort of flowing and moving around. With PageCloud, very much like Wix, everything stays exactly where you want it. The downside of that is that you might have to do a little bit more work on their mobile view to make sure that that looks good. But I think that's a small price to pay if having your layout fixed and looking exactly the way you want it is what you want out of your website. So. Being able to have the desktop and tablet view and the mobile view separated, I think is perfectly fine. And it does give you more control over that experience on both mobile and on desktop. The one problem with that though, is that it's gonna take you a little bit more time to design. I also found that in building this website, it took me a little bit longer than I wanted to just because of some, you know, what I think are kind of annoying features or maybe something that PageCloud needs to improve upon, which is, 
giving me some of my defaults. So I've got my default background color, my default text color, my default font that I want to use, and just having those things ready to go for me. So when I'm dragging in a new element, it's ready to go and it works. If you want to see what my top recommendations are for website builders, definitely check out the link up at the top of this video and down in the description below. Um, where after I've reviewed all the different website builders, I'll share with you what my top recommendations are for easily building a website. So now if you've used PageCloud, I would love to hear what your experiences are down below. And especially if they're different than what my experiences are. And I'd love to hear what you're looking for in a website building and website design tool. If you like this video, you know, definitely give me a thumbs up. For more website building videos and tutorials, definitely hit the subscription button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.